In this video, I'm going to show you what channel points are, how you can use them, and how you can set them up. But before I begin, I want to thank our sponsor, Own.TV. On Own.TV, you can get your own emotes. Which, by the way, you could also use as images for channel point rewards. You can get your own overlays. This one is super cute, but you can also get this one that is super cool. You can make your own avatar, and you can do so much more. But you know what the coolest thing is, guys? With code TRUI, get 50% off. Link is down below in the description. So if we go to our profile, and we go to our chat, then here we can see a Twitch chat. If you click on this icon, which is like a round circle, we will see our channel points. This circle can be something else. If you customize the channel points, they can look differently. And you can see that people can do a lot of things here for their channel points. For example, chasing my camera border, but also have me sit up straight. Okay, how do you earn these kind of points as a viewer? If we click on here, we can see all the ways of you getting these points. Watch the stream for five minutes gives you 10 points. Claim a special bonuses give 50. Sometimes there's these chests appearing next to this icon here, which basically look like this. If you click on them, you will get 50 extra points. Participate in a raid. So at the end of the stream, if somebody raids and you are in the raid itself, you will get 250 points. Follow the channel will give you 300. If you cheer and become the top one cheer, so that means here on the board, you are the top one cheer, you get 350 points extra. Same with the monthly gifted sub, you get 500. So if you gave the most subs that month, you get 500 points. If you watch multiple streams after each other, so you don't miss any streams, you get a watch streak and you can get up to 450 extra points. If you subscribe for tier one, you will get 1.2 times faster points. So any of these numbers that you see here, you will get times 1.2. So instead of 10, you will get 12 points per five minutes. For tier two subs, it's 1.4 and for tier two subs, it's two times the amount of points. So again, if you would, have a tier three sub and you would rate, you would get 500 points instead of 250. We can click here and that will actually bring us to a page that is a guide on how to use the channel points. So I'll leave that down below in the description if you guys are wanting to visit that page of Twitch itself. But how do we set all these rewards up as a streamer? Well, we need to go to the top right and click on create a dashboard. Keep in mind that these channel point rewards are only for Twitch affiliates and partners. So if you're not affiliated yet, you can't do this yet, sadly. But I do have a playlist on how to get Twitch affiliate right here. So I encourage you to go in there and watch the videos and become a Twitch affiliate. Then here, if you go to view rewards, we see channel points. If we click on there, here it says enable channel points. If this is ticked off, your channel points are disabled. So make sure that this is ticked on. Now the viewers can start earning the points and you can start up setting up the channel points. This is where you customize them. Like you see, I haven't customized them. So if you click on here, we can call them whatever you want. For example, pizza points <laughs> or uh, pizza slices or I don't know. Um, eggs or it depends on what a team is of your stream. I would call this this. I do have a second point system going via stream elements, which we call strata points. So for clarity, I kept calling these channel points. So it's kind of clear which ones I'm talking about. Then here we can change the look of them. We can upload an image three times here in different sizes to make it appear there. Let me just upload an emote here just so you can see how it looks like. So we're just going to upload this emote. So now we can see a preview here of how it actually looks. If we don't want them, we can click on reset to default and it will stop being there. And now it's back to the default settings. Go back and then manage rewards and challenges. Okay, so we have different things here. Let me start out with the default ones. Default rewards are underneath in the page. And these are basically made by Twitch and they interact with Twitch yet. For example, highlight my message is a thing that actually happens in Twitch itself without you having to do anything because it's programmed. Uh, same with unlock a random email and stuff like that. So this is like interactions with Twitch itself. You can turn it off and on by using this slider here and you can edit the cost of them by clicking on the edit button. You can set a cost right here just by typing it, but you can also set a smart cost. Smart cost out of adjust reward cost for you. Current F5 price is 100. This means that if this reward is very popular, the price will go up. Here we can again upload an emote or any other drawing you have. Let me just upload the same emote again. So just make sure that you have the same picture, but then in different formats. And we can see the preview here again. This is how the reward will look like. Okay, we can reset them by clicking on here. We could also save them here. We can also set a background color 
by clicking on here and setting any of these colors. You can also use a hex code here and we'll set to default again. I made mine all red because then you know that all these red ones are the ones that interact with Twitch. So I like to make groups by coloring them. I did that here too with these rewards. Some of them are green. That's me doing something. Some of them are red, which are interactive with the stream. We've got these darker ones, which are horror sounds. We got these that change the color from the webcam to any one of these colors that you see. These rewards are the ones that we can make custom, like doing push-ups or, or squats or doing anything on stream. And how we make those is by going underneath here. If you don't have them yet, this will be right up at the top. But for me, I have a lot of them already. So it's down here. Add a new custom reward. If we click on here, we can give it a name. So for example, jumping, jumping jacks. And then uh, tree does 10 jumping jacks. Now we want that to be thousand points. Just look back at the numbers and how fast people will get the points. You can always adjust this later if you have to do a lot of jumping jacks and you don't want to do as many as you're doing. <laughs> again, reward logo. We can just upload anything here again. Make sure that they're the same image, but just different sizes. If you do not know how to get them in different sizes, but you do have an image, you can use a website converter. So there's this website on stream frogs. And if you dump an image here, you get them in the correct sizes. Okay, we can set the background color on whatever we want. We can use this slider and use this together. F skip reward queue requests. Okay, basically what this does is it saves the reward for you so you can go back and see which ones you have done. If you click on this, you will set a cooldown and here you can say it can only happen this time in a minute. So like every five minutes, this will happen. You can also do hours or days or we can say we keep this empty and we do limits per stream. So only five times per stream, this can happen. Or we can limit it per user per stream. So only like one person can only do, do once a stream. We can also say only five times a stream and uh, once per person. We can also say, every f five minutes max, five per stream, and only one per person. So we can basically combine all these things. And if you click on save, and you can find these back if you go to your profile, channel, chat, and then right here, again, the image will appear, and then here you'll see the jumping jacks. Right now I didn't add the image, but here, for example, you see an image. What you can also do is go down here and it says visit collection. These are all IDs that you can use for channel points. So these are standard ones made by Twitch. Posted check, for example, you can just add them like that with just one click. You can just add them like clicking on plus add and you can add any of these instantly. So I was talking about the reward queue before. You can find that up here, custom rewards, reward queue. And here we can see all the things we have, all the channel point rewards we have. And here we see all the requests. So we can see uh, Ryan claims a monthly sticker giveaway entry last month. The newest ones are underneath here. So for example, the yellow camera border, we did that. The pink camera border, we did that. Yellow, we did that. The monthly stickers I keep in here because then I know at the end of the month who claimed that. <laughs> um, but like we can just remove these because we've done that. We can also, for example, reject them and then we give back the font. So the blue camera border, I'm not sure how much points that is out of my head, but if we click on reject, Jim would get all the points back that he spent on making the camera border go blue. We can also just go through here and then click on any of these, let's say, the green border and we can see all these people have made the border green and we can immediately also complete them and we can see monthly sticker giveaway if we click on here we can see who redeemed that this month so we can basically see who gets to enter the giveaway so that's the way of seeing it if there's a reward that you want to turn off for a bit you could just disable them like this and enable them back on you can also delete them if you don't think you're going to need them anymore or you made a mistake all viewers can get channel point rewards they don't have to be affiliated or partnered themselves only the streamer has to be affiliated or partnered and viewers don't have to follow before they start getting channel points following just gives an additional channel points a cool thing you can do with channel points is connecting them to your obs so a sound will play on your stream when somebody redeems a channel point. Because I don't want this video to be too long, I want to send you to this video where I actually explain how you can get these cool sound alerts by people redeeming channel points. So I'll see you there.